All right, yo, yo, yo. Once again, it's time for Poker Chips. Make sure you watch Poker Chip video number six on Chip Lab because this is Chip Lab part two. Now, if you watch Poker video number six, you know that I say that Chip Lab specializes in low end poker chips. Well, I wish I hadn't have said that. I would replace the video if YouTube let me do that which they don't, but low end is not the right word. Um, these are budget chips, maybe I would say, um, but their quality is not low end. It's very high quality for the price. You understand a lot of the high end chips that I've already reviewed cost well over a dollar a chip, some several dollars a chip. These are about 50 cents a chip if you order them in quantity. So the price just cannot be beat and the quality can't be beat for the price. So I really have nothing but great things to say about Chip Lab and I wanted to make another one because I just kind of fashioned, well this has taken uh, almost two years to put this set together just with designs in my head because see that's that's the whole trick about Chip Lab is that you design the chips. They have a very intuitive web designer on there. I'll show you a little sample here. Very easy to use, very intuitive, don't have to be a computer whiz, don't have to be even an art person. You just have to have a general sense of design and you can design your own and that's what I did here. So I'll take you through these chips one at a time, give you a close-up look. These are a plastic, I'm guessing they're manufactured in China, which helps keep the price down, but the quality is just outstanding. You can see the graphics are sharp. That is my game, home game logo, Pepper Street Poker, uh, loosely based on another uh, logo you may have seen. Uh, we won't get into that. I do make sure that uh, all the designs are my own. All the clip art is either free or a couple of times, not on these chips, but elsewhere I've purchased clip art. I always mind my P's and Q's when it comes to artwork. Uh, this is my game logo and on the back is a different picture. It is one of Chip Lab's templates that they provide. And of course their template says welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. I changed it to Burbank. Why? Because that's where I live. I went from Las Vegas, Nevada to Burbank, California. They have the template already built so it's very easy, very simple. This is the hundo. You'll notice I don't have any 25 denoms in my tournament set here because this is for a big blind ante setup. I may or may not get quarters in the future. I've thought about it. If I do, there'll be non-traditional colors. You can see this whole set is non-traditional colors. Next, in a, instead of a purple 500, I have a white 500. I like the white. I'm not really a fan of white chips per se, but in this set, I like it because it really offsets nicely the other colors. Uh, it's really gonna stand out between the Hundo and the 1K. There's my game logo. All the chips have that on the front and on the back, something a little different, something a little creative. Uh, this was clip art that I found for free. And then I added my own text and I stretched it in an editing program because I'm a video editor. That's what I do for a living. I know it may be hard to believe watching these videos, but that is my job. So I'm able to do some manipulation. So that's that, that's the 500. Then for the 1K, I got a little red action there. And you'll notice that this one is uh, a red gradient. And you notice the one back here is blue and that's because I have all different kinds. This one was the first 1K that I designed. And on the back I just used again free clip art of people playing poker, which was kind of cool. And then I thought, you know, that's cool. And all of these, I ordered samples. And by samples, I mean I ordered a barrel of 25, which was like, I don't know, $18 or something like that. That was my samples. Always get samples. I redid the 1Ks, went with blue. And then on the back, I put an expression from my poker game, which is poker is dumb. We have that sign on our garage wall. We say it all the time. I wanted it more personal. Poker is dumb. That is a universal truth. And that really is what's so great about Chip Lab. You really literally can put anything on these chips, and I have. So now I've got you know different varieties of 1Ks, and that's okay, they play together fine in a stack. I got 25 of these, so they make them a little different, and then I got you know over 100 of these bad boys. And the 5K, I did go with black. Again, not a big fan of black and white chips, but I went with black because it seemed like a good choice given that the 1Ks are red. Uh, when I was first ordering these chips, Chip Lab only had, I think, six or seven colors. Now they've got like 10, but uh, these are the colors that they had when I first started ordering. This says, no one cares what you folded. Another great expression in our game. We say it all the time. 
no one cares what you folded. And of course, last and not least, I'll just have to grab it from here, is the 25K chip. This one I really like. This comes out in a three table tournament at, towards the end, 20K starting stacks and re-entries. You need a 25K chip. Big ass chip up in here, yeah. See, I can put whatever I want. That's my, uh, my Pepper Street poker sign, which I have in, in my garage. It was the first sign I ever got. Now I've got lots of signs. So that's it, very cool. Chip Lab is dope. And like I said, I just kind of piecemealed this set together. I really didn't have money set aside for it. I would just order like 100 chips at a time or less. And so now I'm up to a three table set. And this last round of purchases, I had an inspiration because I was playing at the Bicycle Club, Bell or Bellflower, California. And at the bike, they have pictures of famous people. They have Dr. Jerry Buss on their chip and they have uh, Mo the TD on their chip, and I thought, that's kind of cool. Maybe I should do the same thing. So in my last round, I ordered 100 of each chip, increments of 25 each, because that's the minimum order. I put pictures on the back of my chips, of my players. Uh, there's Tom. He's been playing with me since 2004. So there's 25 of these in the batch. And over here is my good Dr. David. That would be my brother. He gets to get on a chip. Don't tell him. His eagle will get crazy, but each denomination has 25 each of a different face. So each denomination right now has four different faces, has four different players. Here's 1K with my friend Jason. He's been playing with me since the beginning. He's a good guy, good player, any given night, better player than me, which sucks, but I adore the guy. Giant heart. And it's just really cool to have all these faces on here. And here's somebody who just moved away, which really bums me out. So I made sure to put him on a chip. Highly influential player in this game. My man Garner, don't forget to check out his YouTube videos. They are dope. And he's just a tremendous guy and a hell of a player. So anyway, a lot more where that came from. There's lots of other faces on there. If you didn't see your face, don't worry. It's on there if you've been playing in this game for 10 years or more. Yeah, so that's really cool. That's that again, I can't stress enough, that is why Chip Lab rules. You can't get that for the price anywhere else. There's a lot of great high-end companies. Chip Lab, I would not say is low-end, but I would say is budget conscious and is affordable and is high quality for the price. If you wanna knock your player's socks off, <laughs> Chip Lab is a great first step for that. Uh, I can't wait till my players see this now that my set is finally complete. I'm excited to show it to them. And Chip Lab rules, and all hail the mighty Chip Lab. And thanks for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy you watching them with me. I'm very grateful that I'm able to share these with you, and I hope you get some info. Go to chiplab.com, just check it out. Go for the, you know, these higher composites. They stack beautifully. They're very high quality. They're great to play with. They're nice and chunky, um, nice and heavy. Just a really brick-like feel. Not slippery at all, unlike uh, they're lower priced uh, chips which are very slippery and if you watch video six in my series you'll see how they're great for souvenirs and not so great for playing these are the best for playing so if you're gonna buy a set to play with customize them go crazy remember 25 at a time and you can put whatever you want on them that's the cool thing about the set is that it'll, it'll continue to grow I'll continue to add faces and if I think of a really cool poker expression I can make 25 chips with an expression so it's really dope really is a special company in that it allows you to do that. Very much appreciative of that. I've rambled too long. I will see you next time. Till then, peace.